What's up guys, my name is Anton Suarez, and in this video we are going to be talking about the Nuvula music player. Now this music player is amazing. I recently found it while trying to solve the problem with the new Google Music Player widget update. Uh, now Google Play Music is a music streaming service like the rest of them and it had a little widget you can get from the Google uh, App Store, the web app store and it was a little Google Music widget. Let's see if I can pull it up. And it was awesome for a while. It was a little player that you could sign into your Google account. It will bring you to a tab. And then you could play your music from this little window and exit the entire Chrome browser and just have this little player opened. Now, recently, that stopped working. You need to have a player open. So if I, I, I'm not going to play any music. But since it's opened, you used to be able to, I'm feeling lucky. It was a great player. But if we close, close the Chrome tab, it tells me I have to sign in. That used to not be the case. Now that is the reason why I'm angry and I found this new awesome web application that you can use. So with the Nuvula player, it has a ton of widgets. So it has Spotify, SoundCloud, Google Play Music, and it is similar to that player. It puts it in the top right of GNOME with uh, another extension we're going to be installing. Or by default, it will go into the bottom right of KDE, Cinnamon. So to install this, we're going to be using Yarut. So um, we'll open up a terminal. And I'll make it a little bit bigger. Let's see if the font is big enough. I might pull the font just a, a little bit up so we can get some better uh, view. So uh, do monospace. We'll go up a little bit, 20. Let's see how that looks. That's good. So we're going to do Yarut Nuovo Player. I can't say that name to save my life. So I installed the non-Git version. That's one or two on the keyboard. You press the number, you can install it. I'm assuming you know how to use Yarut. If you don't, please leave it in the comment section. I'll help you out. Um, so I'd recommend installing this one just for stability purposes. I'm not 100% sure. I did not download the Git version. If you do download the Git version, I'm assuming it's going to be much easier to download these because these uh, widgets, all the widgets, are in the AUR, so you won't have to do it manually. So that's an option. You can kind of play with that if you really want to. I didn't go with that route. I wanted to make it work quickly. I did it this way. I did it the non-Git version. So... Once you get that, we're done with that. So we clear this out. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is a Flash plugin. It does require Flash, so it's requiring proprietary software. We're going to use it because it is an amazing application. So to download this, we'll do sudo pacman-s flash plug in. We'll type the password in, and we'll install this next. I'm not going to be doing that. I already have it installed, but that's how you would install the Flash plugin you need. Press no. Uh, we'll clear it out, and you should be good to go. So I'll open the browser now. I'm going to actually bring this to my bottom bar for ease of use. So we'll bring it down here. Uh, I am using the Numix icon pack for anyone who is questioning it. Um, so I already have the Google Music, Pl uh, the Google Play Music widget, which will pop up in the top right. We're going to be downloading the Spotify widget just as an example. They are different in the installation. So this one, you only have to type in make install for the Google Play. You have to type in make build. There's some differences in the installation. So I'll have um, the AUR. Uh, I'll just type it. I'll have the links in the description below for a few of the application widgets. So for the Spotify version, you can either download it as a zip, and if you use X Archiver, you can unextract it. I'm going to be using Git clone. So we'll copy the link of the Git repository. We'll do Git clone. We'll paste this in. Press enter. It will copy the file. We'll type in ls to see our directories and folders. I see I have it, so I'm going to do cd. And then uh, N O is it? No, it's N U V O L A dash spot uh, dash app dash Spotify. Now we're in that folder. We'll clear this out so we don't have to see that stuff. Next, we'll do uh, what the um, GitHub says to do. So we're going to do make install. That'll do that, and we're done. That's all you have to do. It installs it. It's there. It's a plugin, and you're done. So now we'll open up the player again, and now you can see that we have the Spotify widget. We can launch this up now, and I believe I'm still signed in. Yes, I am, so I don't have to sign in again. Uh, then we can do some royalty-free music. I already had one pulled up before, and we can press a song. Now, hopefully, they, they says royalty-free, but let's pray that it really is, because if I get a copyright strike for a royalty-free song, I'm really going to be upset. So we'll play a random song here, and I'll make sure the volume is not going to kill us. It really is, though. 
I think I lowered it enough in OBS. Okay, so now this is the music player, and I hope you can hear the song in the background. So we can exit out of the music player now. We can exit out of everything, actually. So we have nothing on the desktop, we have nothing open, and in the top right you can see that we have the Spotify widget. And that's one thing I didn't show you, I forgot to show you. To get this, and if you're using the GNOME uh, web, um, desktop, you're going to go to your default web browser, unless you've been already set up the um, extensions, the GNOME extensions. Go to the default web browser in GNOME, type in GNOME extensions, go to the website, and you're going to get the Media Player Indicator. So this indicator plugs into the uh, new Navula player, and you're able to have this awesome little widget in the top right. And another awesome thing is you can have multiple players running at once. So I can have, so I'm going to stop the Spotify now. I'll pause Spotify. So you can have multiple players open. So now I have Google Play open. I can close it out. And in the top right, I have both now. So I can choose between any of them. You can have three, four, five. All these players will be here, and you can choose them. Google Play, Spotify, things like that. It's really, really awesome. SoundCloud, your SoundCloud playlist. You can do amazing things with this player. And it's really, really amazing. Hence why I wanted to show it off. Really, really awesome stuff. So that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about the Nuvula player? I found it awesome. Leave it in the comment section below. If you have any issues with installing it, running it, putting a plug in, uh, the Flash player, I know it might be different for other distributions. Leave it in the comment section below. I can try to help you out as best as I can. As always, my name's Anton Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.